What's going on guys? We're on track 10, BU2B2. That's what we're on. Don't forget about the giveaway. If you want this Rush Tour book, if you want to enter, live in North America, email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com, your name and your email address, and I will announce who wins on the 13th in the overview video. It will be in the video. Be on the lookout for that. Okay, this is a really short one. So here's another part where, here's another part where they have the peddler too, and it says, "The ever wandering peddler, what do you lack?" And now B U two B two, those fateful words, "What do you lack?" spark an inner monologue about all that I have lost. No more boundless optimism. No more faith in greater powers. Too much pain. Too much grief. Too much disillusion. Despite all that, I realize the great irony that although I now believe only in the exchange of love, even that little faith follows the childhood reflex that I was brought up to believe. Okay, this is interesting how we're going from headlong flight of like, you know, I wish I could, you know, like, I wouldn't trade it, but I, you know, all that kind of like the reflecting on it, right? Wouldn't change anything in the words of one of our, right, right, wouldn't change anything. They didn't always feel grand at the time, but on balance, I wouldn't change anything. To now, no more boundless optim. You know, all that I've lost. You know, now it's like total downer kind of negative stuff. That's what it, that's what it seems like. That's what it feels like, anyways. Yeah, it feels like it feels like a feels like Downersville is about to happen. Just even look at the lyrics and just like, oh God, guys, Jesus. <laughs> all right, let's get to this. Bu two B, bam. Okay. Okay. There's that. This is this is a track that may make more sense when I'm just listening to the whole album just straight up and down. That's what I'm wondering or thinking. This is you know, it's fine. It's all strings really. It's kind of like a little interlude piece, you know, reflection piece, right? In the scheme of it. I mean, that's <laughs> you know, that's just kind of what it is. So yeah, I mean, I haven't talked about the strings yet, which there's strings on a lot of these tracks that I'm hearing. I kind of just throw it in with like I was talking about on the first two tracks where it's like the atmosphere and the kind of stage setting, stuff like that. It's just kind of helping with the that kind of dynamic of it. So it's cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get to more of those kinds of things in the overview after I listen to, the, you know, you know, I got to listen to this. Because, yeah, right now it's like, okay. I mean, it's interesting that the first two songs that I had now heard three times, I like the most. <laughs> That's kind of interesting and maybe telling, you know, that I just need to hear it more. I just need to hear it more. So Headlong Flight was cool. I mean, there's plenty. I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it when after I do the garden, which I have high hopes for the garden, actually. We'll see. So, but up next is uh, Wish Them Well. The giveaway. Don't forget about the giveaway. Live in North America. Email jpamreads email at gmail.com. Your name and your email address announced on the 13th in the overview video. I'll catch you guys in the next video.